Am I okay? I don't know. I'm just out here trusting God. Yo, welcome back to Dot TV. It's your girl Elda. If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah. But in order for you to be my cousin, right, right, I need you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button, right, right. Then I need you to go ahead and light up the comment section with hashtag Dot Cousin Gang. And you'll officially be my cousin. Those of you that's been rocking with your girl, what's up, cuzzo? What's up, fummy? Come on, you Shelly do do me, Shelly bam, bam, be that no somewhat. But you know how we get down. We be live. Welcome back, back, hey, back, back, hey. So y'all, as y'all can see the title. Am I okay? I oh, don't know. I'm just out here trusting God. But y'all, cousin, y'all know how I get down, all right? I ain't gonna go into details this video. However, I will go into details soon, okay? But y'all, Y'all cousin is not okay. I have been fighting. And I would say yesterday. Uh, was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? It was one of them days, y'all. It was one of them days where I just really felt like I was losing it. Like, and I knew that I wasn't losing it because of the simple fact that you know, of course, I was still able to call on the name of Jesus um, and that I was, you know, able to uh, push my way through <clears throat> in prayer. And I just kind of wanted to encourage y'all. Y'all know how we get down for me. Y'all know how I am. Um, and any circumstance that I may find myself or anything that I may go through. One thing that I give God the glory for is the ability to encourage myself. Because when you're the strong one, people don't check on you like that. When you're the strong one, people do not check on you like that. I'm talking about in the middle of my, in the middle of me breaking down. In the middle of me breaking down, cuz listen to me. I received a phone call and I had to encourage and pray for that person. Okay, and because I mind you, I'm in the middle of the breakdown. So when I answered the phone, okay, when I answered the phone for the individual, they said, I'm sorry to interrupt your sleeping. So y'all, they thought they thought I was sleep sleep. Okay, mind you, I'm breaking down. So people don't check on you or people don't know how to check on you. People don't know how to ask you, are you okay? Uh, why? Because you're the strong one, right? <clears throat> no, no. We go through stuff too. We break down too. We get tired too. We get weary too. Okay. But anyways, so in the moment of me feeling that way, um, you know, I just began to call on the name of Jesus. And I remember laying back on the couch and the Holy Spirit brought me back to the word that I preached on um, a beautiful sister's platform. Uh, shout outs to you, Ma. Uh, um, <clears throat> and it was the verse that stuck out where it says, this is not unto death. This is not unto death, but for the glory of God. Um, and it was talking about, it was the, the, the story of Lazarus. Lazarus when Lazarus got sick died and was um deceased for a couple of days three four days so by the time Jesus got there y'all know I'm paraphrasing so you know them boys you know everybody in the town was like oh you know we sent word to you that he was sick and you didn't come um and Mary was like man you know Jesus if you was here then he wouldn't have died um they're saying all kinds of stuff and there's no telling what was said in the in-between. And Jesus just got to a point, looked at them boys and was just like, you know what? I'm glad I wasn't here. 
I'm glad that I wasn't here. Like, how do you tell somebody that that's in the middle of grieving and they know the answer is in you, knowing if you were here, that person would not have died. And Jesus is like, I'm glad I wasn't here. But it goes back to what he said. This is not unto death, but for the glory of God. So now here come Jesus. Jesus done pulled up three, four days after the man done died. So at this point, mind you, there was no embalming fluid. There wasn't nothing to preserve him for the couple of days. Okay, we talking about weighing the what now? Okay, so they didn't have none of these stuff. So I'm pretty sure by then Lazarus was stank. Okay, and the revelation that God gave me is sometimes he will allow the situation to uh, to seem dead for a moment just so that you know he can he can get all the glory all right so now when jesus got there once again he said i thank god that i wasn't here um because now at this point he tell them boys to roll the rock away and everybody looking at him like what you finna do because that man been dead for a couple of days like so what what you finna do and he said lazarus come forth and y'all, I don't know if he done hopped up out that tomb. We don't know if he rolled out. We don't know if he walked because ain't no telling how, if he was mummified, if he was, you know, ain't no telling how they buried him. But guess what? Lazarus got up and he came out of there after being dead for four days. And then the Holy Spirit, um, I think I need to change the band on my, um, my watch, y'all. My Apple watch. Squirrel. Um, so after being dead, you know, these amount of days, you know, for him to get up and walk out that tomb, this is where this is where Jesus meant that this is not unto death, but for the glory of God, because he had to allow Lazarus to get sick. He had to let Lazarus die so that the people can see the true glory and the power of God. And in the middle of my breakdown, that's when the Holy Spirit brought that back to me like, Okay, Elder, I understand you may feel sick. You may feel stuck. I understand that, you know, you, 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 you feel like you trying to make your way through, but ain't nothing happening. Okay. But, and you know, people talking at this point because you supposed to be the woman of God. You supposed to be prospering and you supposed to be this. You supposed to be that. Well, if you heard from God, why are you going through this? And, uh, you know, just allowing the people to talk. Okay, so in their eyes, it, it, it seems as if I'm in a dead situation. But Jesus said, this is not unto death. This is not unto death, but it is for the glory of God. And immediately I became encouraged and I began to continue to speak life. I continued to pray and I continued to, I continued, excuse me, to travail. Was it easy? No, because I'm going to tell y'all right now, I still feel like crap. Um, and, you, and look at my hair, y'all. I'm not even going to lie to you. All right. Um, fell into depression. All I wanted to do was sleep. This is two weeks of my hair not being combed. Y'all had to look at the rain because, <clears throat> mind you, this is, this is two weeks of me not combing my hair. Not a pick to it, not nothing. I just take my, my scarf and pull it back a little bit so that it's not all in my face. Okay. Um, and it's, it's been hard. It's been hard, but. One thing that I know, this is not unto death. And I, like I was explaining to my friend, you have to understand that this is a process. A process is a series of steps to reach an expected end. Um, just because you may be going through it, you're going through it. This is not your final destination. So I don't know what you might be facing. I don't know what may be trying to, to discourage you or whatever situation may, may seem as if it's dead. Listen to me and hear me good, cuzzo. Stand on the word of God. 
stand on the word of God and continue to repeat what the Lord has said unto you, what he has showed you. Continue to repeat it and continue to stand on it. Because like God, like the revelation that God gave me, uh, he, listen, Lazarus had to be dead for a couple, for a couple of days so that the people can see my glory. Because one thing I do know that the people that got the nerve to put their mouth on your situation to put to because last time I checked I didn't even know the department of the Holy Spirit was hiring I'm so sick of people trying to make it seem as if God is punishing you or whatever listen if God allowed it God permitted listen God is grown he gonna do what he need to do because he declares the end at the beginning he declares the end at the beginning, but you cannot worry about them talking like you can't, you can't even let it consume you because who are they? Who are they? They don't know the end. They just talking, um, and they, and they talking in a fashion to make themselves, uh, because they like hearing themselves talk one and two, they just trying to make sense of your situation. But guess what? Stop trying to make sense of my situation. Take your mouth up off of people. Take your mouth up off of people and stop trying to take the place of the Holy Spirit because the Department of the Holy Ghost is not hiring. It's not. But I tell you this, God is going to shut them up and you need not to say nothing. You need not to go back and forth. You need not to explain anything. And that's just period. Like it is what it is. So like I said, I'll go into details later. Um... I'll probably have hubby chime in too. <laughs> Ooh, if I let hubby chime in, that's gonna be that that's gonna be real ghetto. But um, but I just want to encourage you and let you know and and to encourage you with that same word. Uh, this is not unto death, but this is for the glory of God. Things may seem tight. Things you may feel like you're losing your momentum, and you feel like the fight is is is. Uh, more strenuous this you know especially coming into the new year like the meme that i seen like you know what my my two my 2022 is gonna start in february because uh january looked like it got some 2021 still um you know some residue that needs to fall off before we go into february because baby i it don't make no sense help me understand because i'm don't understand okay i don't understand but anyways so I just encourage you to keep speaking life, continue to call these things that be not as though they were, continue to stand on the word of God, continue to trust God in the process, continue to trust the process. Um, I know I, I have some, you know, people that don't believe in God, you know, um, but take what you need to take from it. You know what I'm saying? Leave what you feel like you need to leave. But I just hope that this word has encouraged you in one way or another. So comment below, how is your 2021 going so far? So the question is, am I okay? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Because I know that God will not make me shame. He will not make me shame. But I love y'all. Make sure y'all like, thumbs up. Okay, and make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. If you ain't hit that subscribe button yet, don't make don't make me fight you. Don't make me fight you. Just subscribe. Okay, okay, okay. I'm love you, baby. I love you, truly. But remember, you and you have victory on every side.